Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Natasha Jamieson, host of Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips. Our show addresses various aspects of overall wellness, offering expert insight in living your best life with strategies that are beneficial to a healthy mindset. This is my passion and I hope that I inspire you to live your own. We have a fabulous show for you today as we welcome the raw NECA, a raw vegan plant food coach and chef who is here to help us understand the benefits and transition process in eating clean. Also joining us is professional photographer Olga Hutzel. We engage in the discussion of how photography captured the essence of her life. But to start off the show, my incredible sidekick of all things trending, Gail Harrington. Welcome back. Hi. I love having you back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Good. So we have two trends to talk about. Yes. One is beauty and health converging, right? Mm -hmm. And the other one is the minimalistic approach. Mm -hmm. So those are two things. So we were talking, when we've addressed this in other shows as well. And but, constantly when we talk uh, anyway. Well, yes, but <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> That's okay. But basically, the consumer is very, very aware. And so the industry itself is, you know, strategizing to kind of blend the two, yes. beauty and health. Yes because they, <clears throat> they know the benefits and, you know, the, the great effects that, you know, what they put in their body and on their body is that's where they're going. That's they don't right. want anything different. That's they don't right. want the extras, you know, yeah. um, just like we were talking before about, you know, being cautious of the environment. Mm -hmm. This is just another level about being aware mm -hmm. of the balance between, you know, wellness and how it, you know, your stress levels and how it projects outwardly as well. Mm -hmm. So I know that you have something to say about that because well, we love this. We, we love this and you see it all over. You see it on Instagram, yes. you see it on YouTube. And people like Bobbi Brown, who is a very yes. famous makeup artist, yes. who left her brand and has started a new brand all about wellness. So she's offering prebiotic and probiotic yes. supplements and various different you know, collagen drinks and yes. things like that with an understanding. And of course, all the makeup artists know that yes. from dealing with years. Absolutely. If the underlying skin does not look good, it doesn't matter what you oh, do with no. the makeup. No, it doesn't matter. It can't rectify damage That's and poor right. skin and not being taken care of. Yeah, so this is very exciting. So the focus is on what you put topically yes. on your body, like the retinols and some of the yeah. other ingredients, yeah. that what you take internally is, you yes. know, things that are good for your hair, for your yeah. skin, collagen boosters, all sorts yes. of lovely things. Yeah. So this is kind of like an understanding and a holistic approach. You're going to see more of that yes. coming into the industry because mm -hmm. consumers and customers are required, they're demanding it. They're the most knowledgeable they've ever been. Yes. They're skin intellectuals. That's right. The internet has empowered yeah. them. And they're demanding green beauty. They're demanding yes. products that are not damaging. That's right. Either to them internally or externally. Absolutely. And I think that we're going to continue to see this yep. for low end and high end. It's not just high end brands. This is like all of them because if they don't cater to what the consumer wants, the, the market's right. not going to fall through. Of course, also the same uh, it, the same companies own things at the high and at, well, at all price points. Yes, absolutely. So if you like one company um, or one brand, check out and see what other brands they own, and you will see the same formulations coming in at a better price point. Absolutely, and we're kind of going into the minimalistic approach now, which kind of goes hand in right. hand. So you know these elaborate. Um, you know, routines and skin regimes from Korea. 10, 12 steps and more. Which we love. We do love them a little <laughs> bit. Just a little. But basically, Korea is the hot spot. Right. Technology, innovation, you know, laboratory work. You know, they have kind of, you know, like had like the, the top of the line, mm -hmm. you know, multi-purpose, you know, treatments. Well, they're pairing back a more modest approach to skincare, like a skincare diet where Fewer products mm -hmm. are being, you know, sold for the benefit of the of the consumer, but they're high and potent. Right, better quality, better quality, and targeted specifically to skin concerns Absolutely. in a way that we've never seen before. Genderless, ageless. Yes, that is the market because they're not going to have these niche markets. They're catering to everybody. 
And the greatest thing that we love is cocktailing. Oh, yes. Where you can mix your different items together, yes. even in your hands, yes. and then apply them all at the same time to They're save gonna time. They're going to think we're crazy. You know that. <laughs> we are. We are a little bit. <laughs> you should see us at some of the really big <laughs> retail stores that are all for makeup. Woohoo! It will remain We take endless. a minute to just breathe um, before we walk in. That's right. But, no, absolutely. So things are being paired back. You're going to save on application time mm -hmm. because you're going to have fewer things lingering. Like mm -hmm. you're not going to have 10 products. You're going to have mm -hmm. two that are very, very potent, work really, really well, and really uh, they're very effective because people want empowered skincare. And people don't want pilling, which is some of the worst, especially oh, yes. with the, these uh, mm -hmm. things that have silicone in them. You put a layer on and then you try putting something on top and everything pills off and it doesn't matter how much time you Absolutely. wait in between. Yes, of course. So we want things that work quickly and that That's work right. well and yes. then we're out the door. Absolutely. And having said that, we it's time to go. I Is know it, it goes by so fast. I know, I know. But until next time. Okay. Thank you. Up next, we speak with Veronica, a raw vegan food coach. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips is sponsored by... MMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy, offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp includes a one week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Welcome back. Joining us now is Veronica, the foodie food girl. She is a raw vegan plant food coach and chef. Veronica is here to help introduce us to this clean raw food style, and discuss the benefits of transitioning to eating clean. Veronica, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. I can honestly say that you're the queen of all things clean and raw, and this is a massive subject to discuss. I'm intrigued. I'm glad you are. <laughs> Good. So I need to ask the question, what is a, a raw vegan plant food coach? Okay, well, first of all, uh, vegan basically means that you don't eat any animal products or any buy products from animals mm -hmm. like eggs, cheese, right. dairy, yogurt, that kind of thing. And raw means you don't cook any of your food. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're actually keeping all the nutrients, vitamins, enzymes intact uh, by not cooking it pa past 118 degrees. Right. So that's what that is. And how did this food style <coughs> begin for you? Pardon me? The food style. How did this food style begin for you? <laughs> Uh, actually, I started with my dog. My dog was very, very sick, and um, I took my dog to a holistic vet, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the vet suggested I give her animal-appropriate or pet-appropriate food, which was raw meat. Mm -hmm. And so I asked the vet, why raw? And he basically said, because, you know what, uh, all the animals on the planet eat everything raw, yes. and they're never sick. They only die either if they're harmed or if they're shot or, you know, in, uh, in war with another animal. And we're the only animals that cook our food, and we're the only animals that get sick and have disease and, you know, all these other things. So it just was like an aha moment, and then mm -hmm. I started to research. But there oh. was very little information when I started. Okay. Yeah. So I know that you talked about your, your dog. Mm -hmm. But people are going to wonder, why raw foods? Like, what's the appeal for us? Uh, health and wellness, really. I mean, the benefits of eating raw is you keep all your nutrients intact, vitamins, as I mentioned before, minerals. Uh, all the enzymes and so what happens is it actually feeds our cell and it's really an optimal way to eat it's like high octane gas mm -hmm. you know it's it's like fuel right. sort of like when your body's are like a Ferrari you're not gonna right. pull up and get gut, uh, cut rate gas you're gonna mm -hmm. put in the high octane gas so the performance is much better and it's longer yeah so uh, that appeals to me mm -hmm. health yes and vanity course. well yes <laughs> Well, tell us about some of the benefits because so, people might not be aware. Well, I'm 61, and uh, this is all natural eating raw. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was when I started, I was menopausal, mm -hmm. and so I had that belly. And yeah. I went to the gym, and I could not get rid of it, and mm -hmm. it was like crazy. And when I went raw, my weight just dropped off because my body was really burning the fuel that I was feeding it, and my energy level went through the roof. And uh, not only that, I haven't been sick at all. I don't take any medication. I mean, friends my age have all kinds of issues and 
I say to them, you can heal yourself with food. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really why that's I'm really doing right. it. And, and it reverses the signs of aging, which yes. is yes. probably the number one reason I'm doing of it. Course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of the yeah. celebrities, yes. you know, are exactly. raw vegan. Yes. Madonna and Demi Moore. But that's how right. do we know that this food style is for us? I mean, they have everything at their disposal. How do we know that it's a fit for us? Well, um, listen, I can only talk about what, what's happened mm -hmm. to me and the people that I coach. Uh, their health has substantially increased mm -hmm. and their stamina as far as energy, you know, they're not reaching yes. for fake energy like caffeine, like coffee or, mm -hmm. you know, some of these energy drinks. You know, I, I have a green drink yes. that I promote. I, I say green is the new black. Yes. Right? Yes, green is the new the black. Green is the new black. <laughs> yes. And, um, you know, I have a freebie on my website where yes. people can download green is the new black and it also gives you recipes. Yes. So a lot of people don't Love know how that. to start. Yeah. <laughs> and um, when I started, I just didn't have very much information. There was really mm -hmm. not a lot of stuff available on the internet. So um, I painstakingly, you know, spent yeah. quite a long time uh, writing a program, it's a six-day program mm -hmm. on eating strictly raw plant-based. Plant-based mm -hmm. meaning non-animal, mm -hmm. okay? So there's no inflammation. Right. So you don't have to go to a chiropractor. So you don't have all these, you know, health issues that you get from eating animal, proper nutrients. animal yeah. meat yeah. And, and animal byproducts. Yes. So there's also, there is bread, it's raw bread. <laughs> so what is that, in, like how is well, bread raw? I use what's called a dehydrator. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of that, but yes. um, you can turn it up to 118 degrees. And what it does is it actually sort of cooks your food or at least keeps it warm, mm -hmm. or it also takes out uh, the water content okay. in, in, in your food. So you can make bread from, you know, you can make onion bread, oh. flaxseed bread, you can make all kinds of things. You can make wraps, you can make crepes, you can, like, it, it's amazing. And so what happened was I was so intrigued by this lifestyle. Because, I mean, there's only five things I eat. I eat fruits, yes. vegetables, nuts, seeds, and superfoods. That's it. So when I started, I went, uh, you know, I can't have a salad every single day. Right. Now I can, but when I started, because yes. I was eating so much food, yes. I was eating quantity over yeah. quality. Yes. Um, so I became a raw uh, plant-based chef. So I got my, my certification and it just took me to the next level. Like I can make raw chocolate and things like love this. It. And you have to bring raw me cake some. and raw cookies. <laughs> and I'm telling you there. I love it. My challenge being Austrian was yes. I wanted to um, create things that were similar to my upbringing, yes, like an apple course. strudel. So mm -hmm. I kind of made an apple strudel. So mm -hmm. I always say it's kind of like this. Yes. But um, I now, my palate is so clean that I just, yes. I don't want the sauces and the gravies. No, and we disguise not. so much of our food with yes. all of this stuff. Yes. It's and crazy. we eat more, and I know that you yes. talk about yeah. that as well. But if this is not a good fit for somebody full-time, mm -hmm. can you mm -hmm. be a part-time vegetarian, well, a raw vegan? Well, you know what it is? If you can incorporate one green drink or right. one green salad or one fruit salad. It's a benefit, right? Of course it's going to help your body. It's going to actually feed your, your body. It's going to feed your cells on a on a cellular level and your yeah. body's going to be doing the happy dance yes. so you know start with that uh, yeah. you know that's all I'm yeah. I try to do is just like yeah. start with something that's right you know a lot of people I ask them have you eaten raw before they go no and I went you've never had a banana yes, you've never course. had an apple that's right. <laughs> so, so we that's have to take food. a break yeah more with Veronica when we come back stay with us Natasha's lips tips and great flips is sponsored by Synchronicity Durham. By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions. Welcome back. We are speaking with raw vegan plant food coach Veronica about the benefits of eating raw vegan. As you know, this is a hot subject that people are currently talking about, especially with celebrities like Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr. The movement to this food style is huge. So naturally, having heard that a raw vegan coach was coming on the show, you can only imagine the multitude of questions people had about this food style. Are you open to answering some? Yes, I am. Okay, great. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Um, so people really want to know, how do you gonna get enough protein on a raw vegan diet? Well, you know, that's the most um, popular question I get. And just so that everybody knows, you know, the largest animals on the planet 
um, eat plants. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is the plants have all 22 amino acids in them. And when they chew and break open the cellulose of the plant, it turns into protein in the body. So we're not really eating protein. What we're eating is amino, amino acids. acids. So all plants have all the necessary amino acids. So when you put your stuff in the Vitamix or your high yes, speed blender, boom, you're good to go. You get lots of protein. And nuts are high in protein They're and dates. Protein. And you know, there's all kinds of things. All fruits and vegetables have some degree of protein in them. Well, that's really so, good yeah. to know. But yeah. that was the, one yeah. of the questions. Probably um, the top question <laughs> would be, you know, how can you eat on a budget? with a raw vegan Another lifestyle. Another question that I get yes. often. So when I coach people, um, I basically talk about their grocery cart and, and what they actually put into their cart. How many boxes, how many cans, how many packaged goods? How many times do you drive, go through the drive-through? Yes. How much does that cost you? Do you order out? Do you go, you know, do you mm. order in? So when you think of all the money that people spend on, yes, that's on true. that kind of stuff, what I call dead food, mm -hmm. um, why don't you invest that money and buy organic live living food for your live and living body. Okay. So you have nutrients and things like that. And not only that, but wouldn't you rather spend the money now and enjoy your life in a healthy and, you know, fun way as opposed to later when you have to pay the doctor? I don't think that people <laughs> think in those terms yeah. though. They I, just think I, this is my budget, yeah. you know, these are my financial circumstances and it, they could be like a variety of issues. Yeah. They don't see the benefit in kind of long term. Yeah, that's one of the things how I coach people. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset. It is, of course. It's, it's a, always it's a, mindset. It's, it's a mindset first mm -hmm. and then it's a food style. Yes. And then it becomes a lifestyle. Absolutely. So there's, there's a little bit of a transition. You know, listen, you can't just go from, you know, eating meat to, you know, uh, eating a dandelion. Right. Like it just, no. it just doesn't no. work like that. No. It takes no. a little it bit does. of time. And so how long yeah. do, would you say? Just like a pro is different, I'm sure. It, it's different for everyone and it depends on where somebody comes to me from. If somebody mm -hmm. has come to me and they're already a vegetarian or a mm -hmm. vegan, that's half the battle. If okay. somebody is like eating steak and potatoes every single okay. day, it's going to be a little bit of a, a challenge. But it's like everything. You have to want it. Yes, that's you true. You have to want to be healthy. Yes. You have to want to change. Of course. I can't change you unless yes. you want to be changed. Well, that's it. And exactly. I can't help you unless you want to change. And I know that some people think, like, you know, how long is it going to take for mm -hmm. me to feel better, mm -hmm. to look better? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is your answer to that? Because we're instant gratification. You know that. We want everything Instantly. now. Instantly. It's instant. You and have a green drink. That energy goes right through your body so fast. It's like putting IV in your veins. It's You're like, kidding. you know, like green juice in your veins. Absolutely. So I mean, even somebody that's been like on different types 100%. of diets? 100%. A green drink will immediately give you energy. Immediately. Okay. Now, yeah. for people that, you know, because anytime people change, like, you mm -hmm, know, lifestyle mm -hmm. or, yeah. you know, some sort of diet or they exercise, they kind of feel a little foggy headed. Yeah. How do we eliminate that? Well, What's your... that happens because your body is detoxing. And one of the things that we start with is we start with elimination first. Okay. Before we introduce anything. Okay. Meaning? Uh, you have to eliminate certain things out of your diet. Um, before you can introduce the good stuff, okay? okay? Your body has to get climatized. And that's called cleansing. I'm sure okay. you've heard the word yes, detoxing. Yes. So what happens is when you get a cold, when you feel like clogged up or you feel like you have a head cold mm -hmm. or you feel, you know, foggy, lightheaded, that's your body actually detoxing, meaning getting rid of all the toxins mm -hmm. that you put in your body and it's trying to eliminate it out of your body. So very high, high, high volume of water to flush all the toxins out of your system is the first thing that we would do. So with no food? Uh, again, I, food. I would have to assess where okay. somebody is, but to start a, a, a true cleansing, it would be a water fast first. For how long? Again, a, a however long you can do it. See, the, oh again, my. the mindset, most people go right away, I can't do it. Right, of course. So it's like you can do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people that have done 40 days on water or more. Wow. It's okay. master cleanses. Yes. So it depends on how long you can actually do it. The longer, the, the better. better. So if you have the mindset of, you know, I'm not going to die, I'm not going to starve, yes. and I'm helping my body, I'm healing my body, I may become healthy, might lose some weight, yeah. might feel better, yeah. I might be happier, I'm not right. going to have my depressed moods anymore. Right. Yeah. You know, That's it's no a win-win. You have to, again, mentally... Yeah. 
um, stimulate yourself that this is a win-win situation. Yeah. So yeah. for now, just kind of going the other side okay. of that, for I know a lot of menopausal women have asked me, yes. you know, you know the fluctuations <laughs> in therm like internal mm -hmm. temperature, hormonal, emotional, mental factors like the sleepless nights, mm -hmm. cold sweats, all of that. Mm -hmm. What can this sort of diet, like the benefits? Well, that's a they... lot of the people that I work with and I experimented a lot of myself sure. going through this, but I'll tell you this, this, this food style, uh, because it is so packed with nutrition and mm -hmm. it's, it's really you know, high octane fuel, fuel, which is mm -hmm. what I like to call f my food, uh, it will feed your body in such a way that you'll sleep better. Mm -hmm. You'll have peace of mind. Um, you will lose some weight, which, you know, as women, it'll make you feel a little bit better mm -hmm. as well. Um, the hot flashes go away because your body starts to climatize with, uh, with food. You know, like if you cook your food or you desire hot or cold food, it means your adrenal glands are taxed. You're very stressed oh. out. So when you start eating food at room temperature or a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. it what it does is when you it, it climatizes with your body better, and so for menopause, I think it's just like <laughs> try it without try it this way first without drugs. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's that's all I'm saying. It's of just, course. You know, just try it. And the again, what you mentioned earlier, people want very instant fast, gratification. Fast, yes. Uh, it's it's sort of like any kind of alternative homeopathic. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen overnight. Homeopathic remedies help over a period yes, of time. Yes, they do. And aspirin will help you immediately. Right. But I always say if you have a headache, drink water. Your, your brain yes. needs to be hydrated. Sure. So there's many things that I coach people with. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we get into all kinds of things like just cleaning the fridge. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> you know? Of course, that yeah. would be the first yeah. point. So I want to make sure that our viewers <laughs> know the takeaway the top few things that you want them to take away from today's segment? Well, um, I think it's the way to go. Uh, I'm living proof that you can have it all. You can have energy, you can reverse the signs of aging, you can have great hair, great nails. I mean, everything just radiates. Your skin becomes so clean and so clear. Your mind becomes clear. Your focus is much better. Uh, that foggy brain is gone. You don't have that anymore. You have no more headaches. You don't need to take pills. You drop your weight. I mean, oh my goodness. You, and another thing that happens is a spiritual yes. uh, release is even more so. Mm -hmm. You become more connected to all things on the planet. Mm -hmm. And actually you can no longer, you know, yeah. change your, your, your diet back to eating animals. You just, it, 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 you, your consciousness won't allow you to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's been a really interesting journey for me. And I think if I ate a hot dog right now, I'd probably die oh. <laughs> because my body's so clean. I don't even think I could eat anything like oh, that wow. anymore. And the other thing that's really interesting in this, this food style is you get to taste what food really is. Exactly. It's not disguised anymore. And the other thing is we hide in food, in, in emotions. Mm -hmm. And when you eat this, this kind of light, uh, food style, you don't have any more places to hide. And you start really cleansing emotionally as well. Mm -hmm. And so that's a really great weight off your, off your whole being as a person. Yes. You know, to really be in touch with yourself, to be in touch with your emotions, your intuition, and your spirituality. It's, it's, it's really, I love it. Yeah, that's, well, <laughs> yeah. we can see I think that it's raw amazing. I think it's raw amazing too. <laughs> I think that's fabulous. And I have to know before we go, because I'm sure that we're almost, okay. uh, it's time for us to go. What is your treat? on this, like what is your go-to? I uh, have to know, is it the chocolate? It well, would be for you me. Well, you know what? I, I've always been a savory person. Okay. So I love sauerkraut, which is really sauerkraut. crazy. Sauerkraut. And for raw fermented sauerkraut, I just love it. And it's so full of probiotics, so I, I really love it. And I, you know, and I also love chocolate, so I make raw chocolate with nuts and wild, you know, dehydrated uh, blueberries and, oh, oh, it's just so delicious. And, um, you know, I've just, like I said, I have a, yeah. a renewed love for I, things I, from the earth. Yes, of you course. You know, from, and being more conscious and aware from, from earth to table to mouth. Yes. Because honestly, all your ailments start with what you put through your lips. Everything. It's very, very yeah, true. Your health. And so, your, so how long does it take you to kind of prep yourself? Prep myself, prep like yourself. for the show? No, no, not for the show, not for the show. <laughs> Just like to do like a meal prep? Yeah. I think people would want to know that. Yeah. How much yeah. time do, I have to, do they have to invest you, maybe? You know what, everyone, you have to prep for everything in life. You, do. you have to prep, you know, for, you for going on a, a TV show. You have yes. to prep for going to the gym. Yeah. 
you know, going to the movies, going to work, yes. everything. Yes. And, you know, conventional okay. eating, yes. you know, if you make a lasagna, you've got to prep all your stuff. Yes. So it's the same amount of time. It's just different. Yes. You're not cooking. You're not going to boil right. anything. You're not going to burn anything. Yes. You're not going to spend time with all that. Whatever I've done is pretty much instant. That's perfect. You know, and it's, fa I love this lifestyle yes. because it's fast. I don't have to do any pots and yes. pans. It's like, perfect. it's perfect. fast for a lifestyle. Perfect. Well, for on my that lifestyle. note, yeah. thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your knowledge thank with you. us and for being on the show. <laughs> and up next, we speak with photographer Olga Hutzel. Stay with us. Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips is sponsored by St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church, located in Ajax, Ontario, offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations and special events, accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Welcome back. We are talking with freelance photographer Olga Hutzel, owner of Olga Hutzel Photography, whose focus includes fashion, portraits, commercial, and events, just to mention a few. With a wide range of creative interests, she continues to capture the essence of each moment. Welcome to the show, Olga. Thank you, Natasha. You're very welcome. Everyone has a story to tell, and a great photographer such as yourself tells their story through the eyes of a camera lens. So I'm very, very interested to find out how does someone, a photographer, stand out in the industry so populated with amazing talent, how do they get the opportunity to, to show their potential? Oh, uh, that's an interesting question because, as you are, you're absolutely right. Now uh, there is a lot of uh, competition in this yes. industry. And um, we are all trying to be different. Yes, of course. But what is different and what makes us all different is the vision and also a little bit of professionalism and uh, experience built over the years. Mm -hmm. So that is not something that you can just take away. Exactly, exactly. So how did you kind of establish yourself having said all that? You mm -hmm. have to be out there, you have to speak to people, yes. you have to uh, network and, and all see. of that stuff. Exactly, you have to see how the uh, models work, mm -hmm. how the designers create mm -hmm. and how their uh, clothing is shown at the shows as well. That's very important. Because do they actually take photographers that have kind of like a similar style that they like to showcase, you know, their fashions or their shoot or whatever, do they kind of pull like that kind of style and like, you know, go to you because they know that the kind of quality that you have is in line with their vision? Well, vision, again, is the key. Yeah. So that is something that creates that unique approach and a unique uh, styling mm -hmm. that reflects the clothing as well. Yeah. As a seasoned photographer, what elements do you need to see in order to capture a moment? I've seen you in backstage, on shows and, you know, runways and everything. You're speaking with everybody. You're, you know, very, very, you know, kind and wanting to connect. So how, do, how does a seasoned photographer, how do you find those elements? I try to see what's essential, what's essential about people, what, what's essential about shows, about clothing, about the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is something that I'm trying to reflect in anything that I do. And I try to be sincere and help out people because yeah. in this industry, everybody needs help. Of really. course they do, in every industry. And connections are huge. We all need connections, doesn't matter what industry. So what's the process in making yours? I uh, try to keep my uh, eye on everything that is happening. Mm -hmm. I read newspapers, I okay. watch the shows, I attend the shows, I try to be out there and see what is happening. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stories that are untold in media that has to be told oh. again in images and has to be recorded and um, in social media as well. So not just taking pictures is you know, what you're saying, you need to kind of go out there do the foot, footwork, you need to connect, you need to you know, be involved, you need to be researched, all these kinds of elements. Because people just think, oh, you know, you're a photographer, you just snap pictures. And I'm sure that, of course, that's a part of it, but it's not the only part. That is actually a very little part, I'd yeah. say. Yes. Now that you mentioned, yes. that's a little part. Yeah. Because uh, the vision is uh, something that makes it different yes. and approach. So um, what does working with local Toronto designers look like? It's very interesting. It's very intimate. It's something okay. that um, you see the difference right away. 
because when you shoot a little line of clothing mm -hmm. for a designer, uh, when it starts selling right away, mm -hmm. like you see how much you could do for that person, mm -hmm. and that what uh, really matters for me. To see that you could take them to that next level. Absolutely. What about the ones that are just starting, though? I would imagine, you know, putting themselves out there. It takes money. Everything takes money to market themselves. How do you see that end of it? The ones that are just starting out, the local designers. Again, uh, if you position yourself right in the market, and um, if you, if the images are right in our day and age, when people uh, do not necessarily go in the stores, but they have to see everything on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Facebook. Um, it's very easy to create the image yes. that is right. Right. Even on a budget or no budget? Even, even on the budget. With in hair and makeup team? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's really, really good. Um, I think that's a valid point. So, you know, as a business owner, I can totally understand because I have a very hectic day. What's a day in the life of Olga look like? It's very busy and it's really very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. I get to go different places, uh, different locations. Uh, I don't know where the day starts or begins or ends. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, well, that's the life, right? All the arts and every, every aspect of, you know, being creative. You have to kind of pursue your dreams. You have to be out there and you have to travel and you're going to have those long, long hours. Um, what is the best part about being a photographer? I always like to ask people that, what they do. What do you love about it the most? It's the people. Yeah. It's the people. It's the relations uh, that are built when you're working actually and there is a lot of people that I have known for years now and it's interesting to see how they're growing mm -hmm. and how everything develops and yeah. it's uh, very interesting that sometimes I do help them to grow. Yes, I love that. That's so great. So I know that we are in the age of the selfie, selfie. So you know I'm going to ask you, what are the elements? Like give us some feedback on how we can, you know, take a really nice photo. I love the delete button because I take 50 pictures and I hate them all except for one. <laughs> so tell, tell me some of the, give us some tips. Give us some tips. I think people are going to love this. Give us some, I know lighting. I know you told me that. I know <laughs> your side. Know your side. Know your angle. <laughs> You're absolutely, you're, you're absolutely right. The uh, lighting is actually a big thing, and uh, you really have to notice where the light is coming from. Okay. So very often you'll see uh, people trying uh, to stand in front of the window and see, try to take an image, mm -hmm. uh, basically facing back to the window. Oh yeah. And basically, basically that creates backlight, which right. is never a good thing no. if you don't have the right. So you uh, want to be facing it. Exactly, facing and it, it has directly. to be directional. Direction. Natural lighting or? Well, usually you've got what, to do what, you, what you've got to do. You work with what you have. You just <laughs> exactly, but just um, notice a uh, light source and mm -hmm. just go right to it. Okay. Do you have to kind of know what side best works for you? Do you do it straight on, angled? What do you do? That is very interesting because the way we perceive ourselves yes. is very different from what people see in us. Of course. So uh, this way, um, there is no good and bad side for okay. other people. They don't know that. Right. So it's, it's just very kind often, of in individual. It's very often, it's our individual uh, projection, mm -hmm. which is not noticeable to people. So just be confident and yes. enjoy it. That's perfect. That's the best thing, confidence. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing all these lovely tips and about being a photographer. Thank, Thank you. you. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Natasha's Lips, Tips and Great Flips is sponsored by AMMA Ajax Mixed Martial Arts Academy. Offering classes in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for all men and women. Sign up now for your free one month membership. Also offering Women's Strength and Conditioning Body Blast Boot Camp. Includes a one-week free trial. St. Nadala Macedonian Orthodox Church. Located in Ajax, Ontario. Offering banquet hall facilities for your weddings, celebrations, and special events. Accommodating up to 250 guests. Invictus Equality. We are the mistresses and the masters of our gender equality destiny. Synchronicity Durham. 
By collaborating within each level of the community, the main purpose of Synchronicity Durham is to empower every open-minded citizen in Durham region with the tools and resources to achieve their greatest dreams, goals, and passions.